OK, so let's say we have a geometric sequence, 2, 6, 18, 54, and so on, and then the last number is 2, 8, 6, 9, 7, 8, 1, 4. And what I want to do is I want to determine how many numbers are actually in the sequence. How many terms are there? So, we had a similar problem like this when we were dealing with arithmetic sequences. It's less likely to crop up with geometric, but uh, I'd like to show you the process. So, we're going to use the nth term uh, formulas we've been, use, be, been using in the previous videos where we're identifying that this is the last term in our sequence, so 2, 8, 6, 9, 7, 8, 1, 4, and that's equal to the first term, a, times the common ratio r to the n minus 1. So the first term is 2, and then the common ratio is 6 divided by 2, which is 3, so 3 to the n minus 1. And what I want to do is I want to work out what the n is. So this is an equation I want to solve. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by 2. Now, hopefully I can do this straight off. Uh, 1, 4, 3, 4, uh, 8, um, 9, 0, 7. I'll best check that, I? 2, 8, 6, 9, 7, 8, 1, 4. 1, 4, 3, 4, 8, 9, 0, 7. Good. Okay, my math and arithmetic is not gone to shop. So now, um, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to use logarithms in order to solve this equation. So we've met logarithms already. If you haven't, then this question is going to be quite difficult to do. Um, so, using logarithms, I could just go straight in and then go, well, that means that n minus 1 is log base 3 of 1, 4, 3, 4, 8, 9, 0, 7. Okay, going from the exponential notation to logarithmic notation. Or you could do the method of taking logs of both sides. Okay, that way will work as well. So I pop this into my calculator. Log base 3 of 1, 4, 3, 4, 8, 9, 0, 7. And I get 15. So that means n minus 1 is 15. And so n is 16. So that means that there are 16 terms in this sequence. This last one is the 16th term. 28,697,814 28, is the 16th term in the geometric sequence.